Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we'll be creating a simple Mule application wherein it'll be a Mule 4 code and the AnyPoint Studio version which I will be using is AnyPoint Studio version 7. Okay, in this application, it will be a very basic hello world application wherein we'll be getting the response as hello world in the postman. Now, for that, the basic uh, thing is that we uh, need to create a new project. So, right uh, click on File, New, and click on Mule Project. You will be getting a prompt wherein it will be asking a project name. So as of now, I will be naming it as hello, hello, underscore world, okay. The runtime version would be selected automatically. And if you have any other uh, Mule server running here, like the 4.3 version, you can select that based on your preferences. I will be doing a video on this later on. Since we are not scaffolding any of the RAML file from the design center, we'll just click on finish. Okay, and now as we can see that our application has come in the package explorer. Okay, so now as we can see that we have a hello world.xml file in the src main mule. Okay, so now for the connector components which we will be using here, we have to create a separate config file which will be just for the connections of it. So for that, uh, right click on src main mule, click on new, click on mule configuration file and name it as global underscore config okay dot xml click on finish okay so now in our hello world application the first thing which we'll drag and drop is our listener component once we add our listener component, the next thing which we'll be adding is our set payload where we'll just display a message of hello world. Okay. In the listener, uh, there are two issues ones because we have not configured uh, the connection and the path is not set. So now let's go back to the global config. Now in global config, remember to create your connections in global elements. Now uh, click on create type http search for http listener config select that and click ok and uh, make a note of the port which you are using so here we are using 8081 okay uh, and just click on ok okay and then go back to your implementation file and here go back to the listener as we can see the connector configuration has automatically taken it as http listener config set the path to be as test okay we'll be using test as of now and click on the platform and in the set payload component we'll just pass a value like hello world hello everyone okay done so now to save the entire project click on control shift s all the files would be saved now uh, you can run the project from here or you can uh, right click on the canvas okay right click on the canvas and uh, click on run project hello world okay so when you start running the project in the console you can see the build process has been started once you get a successful note that the project has been deployed you can use the url and uh, get the response from the postman so let's wait until the project is deployed any logging errors would be uh, shown in the console but as of now we have not even used a logger as this is a very basic project so now we can see that the uh, status is deployed okay so now we'll go back to the postman and uh, we'll be setting the method to get http colon slash slash localhost colon 8081 which is our uh, listeners config for port and the path to be as test and just click on send and uh, here we see the message which we had uh, put in our set payload so this is how you uh, create a very first hello world application so if there are any queries please le uh, let me know in the comment section below i might uh, try to answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.